Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? Today we are going to do a very, very different kind of pick a card reading. We are going to see what plan the goddess has for you uh, with regards to your finances. So uh, this is going to be general reading guys. So take what resonates and leave what does not. Uh, I thought let's do this reading because Navratri is also going to begin and it's all about Divine Feminine. So we have these three options. Option number one is this lovely Sri Yantra in Selenite plate. Okay, option number two is this Desert Rose crystal. And option number three is this beautiful pair of Mandarin Ducks. Ta-da! So you can select any option that you are drawn to uh, in case if you are confused. You can also pick up any one uh, you know, number from uh, three pieces of paper in which number one, two and three are written. Whatever number comes in that's going to be your pile so that can be done as well. I normally do that. So uh, before we begin all the uh, uh, you know all the options that you're seeing on this uh, altar along with this tea light candles are available with my sales team you can whatsapp them number given below and now let's get started hello group one how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and as always rocking so let's see what plan the goddess has for you regarding your finances and what action you need to take in order to bring that plan into fruition okay so i've chosen this lovely selenite um, crystal plate which has got the shri yantra in it so definitely you have a very uh, good ability to manifest and you have been really trying your best to manifest uh, a bigger amount in terms of your finances however you have doubts um, the first doubt is whether i am thinking too big whether i'm dreaming too big second is you know you're kind of wondering that will it even happen now this is something which everybody has okay when it comes to finances so what i'm saying is that definitely not something out of the box or something but yes what is different about you is that you really genuinely pray towards manifesting wealth. You are doing the prayers, you are doing the rituals. So it's not that, you know, you are, it's just law of attraction without any efforts. Okay. So yes, you do work hard. You do take efforts. You also have a connect with the uh, goddess. Okay. Goddess Lakshmi, especially because you've chosen the um, Sri Yandra also. Uh, you have been trying to clear a lot of blockages in your mindset. You're genuinely working towards it. Okay, so let's see what uh, plan the goddess has for you regarding finances. I'm kind of loose. Hearing uh, 50, okay, so it could be 50 lakhs, 50,000 or whatever in your currency but the the first two numbers that i see is 50 okay now let's see all right the first plan that the goddess has for you is that she wants you to realize that whatever losses you have incurred it looks like this loss has been recent okay this loss will be replaced with something amazing all right and uh, you need to kind of focus on that rather than focusing on what losses you have incurred it looks like there's some sort of setback that you have faced which has kind of you know affected you and your confidence and your belief faith as well however this is a reminder the the goddess plans that whatever was lost will be replaced yes the goddess is also planning that she is going to send you some somebody who is trustworthy to kind of repair this damage okay uh, this young trustworthy person is perfectionist and will help to build your finances also what i'm feeling is that the goddess has a plan to improve your finances in a slow and steady manner all right so you need to kind of 
be in sync with that plan so if you are kind of really wanting a lot of speed please understand that yes there will be progress but it will be in the speed that is right for you okay wow so the goddess is also planning something new with regards to an opportunity to make more money now this opportunity to make more money is going to really um be very fruitful for you all right and something you know uh it as i said it's going to replace the loss that you have incurred or the setback that you have incurred now this particular finances okay this financial windfall or financial opportunity what is what is seen over here you got two pentacle cards okay so clearly as i said there is going to be an improvement in your finances there is going to be a growth in your finances but it will be in a slow and steady manner also with this will be with regards to an opportunity coming your way uh, to make more money all right uh, i also feel that there could be investment towards a home as well is what i'm getting so let's see what your other cards are going to tell us Okay, let me keep your cards upright. All right. What plan the goddess has for you regarding your finances? We'll also see what action you need to take to bring this plan into fruition. Also, there's a huge possibility that you will be seeing rainbows. Okay. Or maybe you have a connect uh, with Archangel Raziel. I'm also hearing the word uh, unicorn. So, some of you could be right now having some unicorn element around you. Okay. Could be a possibility let's also see what action you need to take in order to bring this plan into fruition okay so let's do it all one by one we'll also see your yellow cards okay the action that you need to take is to overcome this loss okay so you are you're so stuck with this loss that you have incurred in the past with regards to your finances that you're not ready to move on so whatever this loss has been please move on from it okay your heart will heal do not worry also you need to kind of keep things to yourself do not discuss your plans with others because that will not really help you keep your plans to yourself till they come to fruition Secondly, you also have to do your prayers and rituals. Have consistency. You cannot pray for like five days and then stop praying, you know, or you cannot manifest for five days and the sixth day you decide not to manifest. So that's also important. Now let's see what your other cards are telling us. Clean it up. So here, the angels, the goddess wants you to declutter. Okay, so there is a lot of clutter in your home which you need to kind of declutter in order to be blessed with the uh, plan that the goddess has for you. I also feel, I also feel that um, you kind of need to clean up your emotions as well, especially this this emotion of sorrow, this emotion of uh, loss. Okay, let me take the camera a little back so that you have a nicer view. unlimited ideas so here the goddess is telling you that you have unlimited ideas and you need to kind of take action to bring these ideas into fruition and when you are taking action to bring these ideas into fruition keep these ideas to yourself do not discuss it with others till it comes to a fruition okay and note down all the ideas that you're getting justice okay so here the goddess has a plan that whatever injustice was done to you or whatever uh, you faced okay that despite of putting in the efforts you're not got the finances in return that is going to be corrected all right that's the plan the goddess has for you and also the goddess is saying that you yourself 
will bring in lot of justice and fairness to others you may act as a guide to somebody else with regards to finances you may act as a mediator for someone else or you may you know so you definitely are going to help others as well so be open to receiving this blessing of finances because once you receive this finances you will be able to help others as well in turn affecting their life in a better manner let's see law of attraction so when you know you picked up this and i played i did tell you that you genuinely and seriously work with the law of attraction and you are manifesting wealth so here the the uh, this card is telling you that continue with uh, all the prayers rituals that you are doing to manifest wealth and also take ideas take uh, sorry also take action to manifest the wealth you got over your courage so the 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 goddess is telling you that listen you the the plan that the goddess has for you requires you to have courage all right so take this leap of faith do not hold yourself back do not let your fears hold you back okay the goddess has got great plans to bring in money and you know she will ensure that the growth is steady okay it may be slow but it will be consistent however you need to be need to kind of be in strength tap into your inner strength so that you are able to overcome this setback that you have faced this is past this is over all right and this is the future ahead you see the light which is there ahead and walking on this path requires you to have lot of courage so have that courage don't pull yourself back now let's see what your other cards are telling us so this is your yellow cards Okay, I'll just pick up two cards. One more card. I've also got this white cards over here. let me just shuffle one more time and pick something randomly uh, okay let's let's pick up okay let's pick two because both of them are so stuck and this is something a yellow card which i just kind of, orange card sorry so let's see what this are telling us spiritual growth and connect all right so this is what the high priestess also spoke about okay so yes you need to focus more on becoming a better person and being more connected with the divine all right you got over here don't feel guilty to us so here you need to be open to receiving and if you have got any guilt to ask for uh, growth in finances don't do not do not and even if you i also feel that if you feel guilty to ask the divine for more money don't do that strength training you did get over your courage all right so ensure that you are building on your strength you are building on your courage words have positive words with regards to your financial story any physical activity that you love so many times when we uh, kind of engage in a physical activity that we enjoy our aura just opens up we Uh, there is more blood circulation and we are more uh, there are more happy hormones in our body which overall helps with the law of attraction so do something that you absolutely enjoy remove some time for it vehicle moving on so here again moving on so moving on from the five of swords slowly to the ace of pentacles so that's going to happen also some of you may buy a vehicle as well let's see the cards stuck paper work getting complete so uh, again you know as we see this uh, the five of swords to the uh, five of cups to the knight of pentacles transition very sorry i just moved the camera very clearly all right so whatever work was stuck that was causing you pain that's going to be completed leading to lot of happiness now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us okay 
So think about a question group one and before I begin with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, my Goddess Lakshmi workshop is coming up. In case if you want to know more details about the workshop and also uh, the earlier participants experiences, you can click on the link pinned in the comment section. All right. So let's see what the Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us. You got better. So whatever you asked for, the answer is better. So group one, if I had to summarize your reading, definitely there is a growth in terms of finances. The growth is slow and steady, but it is consistent. And for this growth to happen, you need to let go of your past, move on ahead with a lot of courage and take action. So group one, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're guided. I'm also there on Instagram. We have around um, uh, 20, 20k plus uh, followers if you want to be a part of my Instagram community. All the links are given in the description column. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. How are you guys doing? I hope you're rocking and absolutely wonderful. So today we are going to see what plan the goddess has for you. So chosen this beautiful desert rose crystal, which means that, you know, guys, you have been somebody who is self-made. You've really worked hard to grow. Um, you have been uh, making every adversity into an opportunity. No matter what life throws at you, you're someone who will kind of, you know, um, ensure that you turn that problem into a solution. You're somebody who is really really very strong and and you know what you are a god's person okay now let's see what a plan the goddess has for you with regards to your finances we'll also see what action you need to take to make those plans come into fruition plan a okay so first plan the goddess has that you should be able to overcome your fears, especially with regards to your finances. The plan that goddess has for you is to make you understand that whatever happened in the past is over. All right. And you need not keep on revisiting it and worrying that the same may happen in the future. Yes, you had a rough start or a rough uh, experience but that does not define your financial story you know group one also had a similar card now let's see wow so uh, the next plan that the goddess has for you is new beginnings and fresh starts yes whatever experiences you have had in the past has made you very cautious and you are constantly worried however here, the card is telling you that there will be fresh starts, new beginnings. You are going to let go of the old and worn out and venture into new experiences. All right. And that's the plan the goddess has for you. There's a new adventure waiting for you for your own good. The next plan that the goddess has for you is you are going to showcase your skills to others you are going to create something really amazing with the help of the divine goddess there will be um, you know in this in this project that you are going to do uh, you will be given the support that you need teamwork is important the goddess will ensure that you will have the support of an efficient team of people around to kind of you know go ahead all right. So when I look at your cards, I clearly see that the plan the goddess has is new projects, new beginnings. So there's something really new uh, that is going to come up in your finances, which for the better, there will be money coming via teamwork collaborations. There will also be money coming uh, via new opportunities. Some of you may even need to travel to bring in this new opportunity. Yes, there will be certain risk involved as well. Uh, with this opportunity but you know what uh, nothing that you cannot handle let's see what the other cards are telling us Uh, 
uh, it looks like you know there was a time in your life wherein you were really short of finances i'm also hearing that what you are earning today in a day was at time once once in your life you know uh, once upon a time in your life you were earning that much or receiving that much throughout uh, the month you know so that's what they are telling me now let's see what your cards are telling us yang so here if you see there is this hand which is receiving the yang energy so again it is one so new beginning so clearly the fool is talking about new beginnings the yang is talking more about the masculine energy over here so masculine energy means uh, giving it also means taking action so yes you will be taking a lot of action to receive this blessing and also if you see there are stars in this so clearly you're going to receive a lot of blessings so the it is not that only the goddess is going to bless you the the, the divine god god is also going to bless you okay release resentments about money so this is what the resent the nine of wands is talking about so what is the resentment about money when you have to pay someone and you tell the person you know what you're charging really a lot or you're feeling very uh, low when you pay someone uh, money for whatever the service or the product is that's called resentment about money so you need to kind of let it go because when you are in the vibration of resentment you will not be able to attract money because at the end of the day you're resenting money itself okay and money is one single energy so let go of this resentment as it is not serving you in any way let me keep the card over here sensitivity so you are becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly so this is again the nine of wands energy over here which this card is talking about so yes you know uh, whatever problems that you went through uh, was you know was so that you were able to understand the pain of not having so today you are such a giving person as well so even though you have resentments about money you do give okay you do try to help people in your way in your own way because you know what it is to not have all right however you know you have the fear element has kind of increased in your life and you need to let go of the fear and replace it with faith now look the opposite of nine of wands is the fool card here this person is so worried and tense and here this person is leaping into uh, you know leaping ahead so that's the kind of shift you need to have earth angel so you are a light worker all right and you have come on this earth to teach about love and to teach about freedom all right so so understand that you deserve good in all ways all right letting go so again you need to let go of your fear so that you move ahead there are doors opening for you and you need to kind of make a choice to walk through those through those doors there are going to be various opportunities now interestingly the card over here talks about three and you have also got three of pentacles so clearly there are going to be three opportunities presented to you as well and you need to walk through those opportunities this is what the letting go card you know this card is kind of summarizing all the three cards which means letting go of your fears walking walking through those new opportunities those new doors all right now let's see what action you need to take even though the cards are kind of clearly told us let's still see what action you need to take again the four of pentacles oh six of pentacles so see how beautiful this card is talking to us four of pentacles is all about control all right and saving so you need to focus on savings and you need to kind of give as well so uh save at the same time give to charity as well there should be a balance in giving and receiving is what this card is trying to tell you somewhere you know you are kind of um you know you're kind of 
uh, stuck okay wherein you are like uh, at times when you spend you spend like there is no tomorrow at times when you save you save like you know there is no tomorrow okay sorry you save as if there is there you know you have to kind of you know save for the eternity kind of so strike a balance strike a balance and when you give money don't hold any resentments that's very important and also receive receive and give okay when we receive only then we can give and only when we give then we can receive now let's see what your yellow cards are going to tell us okay okay i'll take this card all right and this one okay this card just came let's see what all these cards are telling us take a break so take a break from this negative thought process or this fear okay and also take a break take some rest you have been working really very hard uh, and you know what the full card also represents travel so yes take a break and travel heaven is working on it so whatever you are praying for the heaven is working on it and it will give you the opportunity that you really really want look over here heaven is working on it receive okay receive you need to receive see this yang energy this card also talks about the same thing the hands are receiving right so receive this opportunity emotional windfall of money and emotional maturity and wisdom see this card just came up so yes there is going to be a windfall of money which the goddess has planned for you and for this to happen when this will happen you will have to be very wise and mature and kind of not you know do emotional spending or just let all, let all of it just go fun adventure and sport so yes uh you know the the goddess has planned lot of fun activity with regards to your finances as we can see with the fool cards and this as well so you the goddess is asking you to take a break and kind of enjoy do something different let's see oh my god so many cards you got healing and this distress so yes the the goddess has planned that there should be a lot of healing that should take place regarding your finances so that the stress goes away and you are completely relaxed love life it could be so that you and your partner together will make a lot of money at the same time you know your love life will also become better so even though we are we are in, we are kind of figuring it out what the goddess plan is with regards to your finances she's also told indirectly told you that you know what your love life is also going to get better so there could be partnerships with someone or uh, you love that can result in increase in finances as well but overall i see that you know you need to let go of your fear so the goddess will also ensure that you face your financial fears you come out of it and you grow out of it so definitely group 2 there are going to be new projects coming your way new beginnings new opportunities coming your way you're going to do something absolutely different and that's going to bring in a lot of adventure and fun or you may do the same thing in a different manner which again will bring in a lot of fun and adventure now let's see what the wheel of fortune is going to tell us before i you know uh, see what the wheel of fortune is telling you uh, my goddess lakshmi workshop is coming up the details of the workshop and the link uh, to know more about uh, the earlier participants experiences and all the other details is given in the comment section the comment is pinned so you can have a look over there as well we have a whatsapp uh, list we have a, a, a telegram list you want to be a part of it just click on the description column uh, all the links to all my social media handles whatsapp and um Uh, the telegram is given in the description you can just click on that as well now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 2 and let me spin the wheel for you wow you got maybe so what is the question you are asked the answer is maybe now let's see why was it a maybe so if you're looking for a maybe answer itself so it's good you know then you can just be happy with it if you're not really happy with the maybe answer you want to know why it came maybe let's see what the goddess is saying maybe okay the reason the goddess is saying maybe is because uh of security issues okay 
you are feeling insecure you're kind of thinking will i be able to provide for my family what if i'm not able to provide for my family you know all of those things also there is some inheritance uh or see either the question that you have in mind is regards to inheritance or it's regard to family or it is with regards to security so the reason this card has showed up because the goddess wants you to be more secure she wants you to kind of work towards uh having this absolute sense of certainty that you are taken care of and your family is taken care of that's really very important yes see you're somebody who takes action you're not a lazy person out there who just wishes for financial miracle to fall on their lap so the goddess is assuring you that you know what whatever hard work you are doing okay the goddess is taking note of it okay and um, the only thing that you need to kind of let go is of all this um worry and anxiety that you tend to be constantly vibrating in because that's kind of obstructing you as well all right group 2 so that's about it i hope you like the like the video as much as i did if you did hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you guys did take care bye bye hello group 3 how are you guys doing i hope you are doing fine and rocking as always so you have chosen this beautiful mandarin ducks and let's see what plan the goddess has for you regarding your finances so clearly i am seeing over here money via partnerships or working with your partner and improving your finances um also i feel that there is going to be a team work in order for increase in finances i also see commitment okay uh, which is going to be like you know you're going to be really committed to this financial growth story of yours which the goddess has planned so let's see what your cards are going to tell us regarding her plan for your finances you are somebody who is very ethical but you're constantly worried that what if you know somebody blames you or for something which you have not done okay so let go of this fear so let's see the plans the first plan that the goddess has for you is that she's going to make you move towards a better financial story so yes the past story of your finances was not that great and right now you are in between however there is going to be growth uh, there are going to be better times with regards to your finances so better story coming soon with regards to your finances there is going to be lot of growth transition transformation happening with regards to your finances now very interestingly both this card is about movement okay here this person is moving in a boat and here this person you know is moving ahead on a horse so both this card talks about movement and travel now here we are talking about your finances so clearly your finances are definitely going to become better and they're going to become better in a very fast paced manner all right now let's see next card oh wow you got two knights group 2 group 3 which means which means that uh there is going to be fast and steady growth okay and there is there will also be young people who who are kind of going to help you to change your financial story clearly all right so slow you know over here there is a steady and a fast growth which is like so amazing interestingly all three cards are talking about movement okay and we are talking about here over here goddess plan regarding your finances so clearly your finances are going to move ahead going to become better there is absolutely not a small teeny tiny doubt as well now let's see what your other cards are going to tell us
Um, I'm kind of feeling that my head is heavy, so I feel that uh, maybe you are overthinking, okay? Because normally I do pick up energies. Okay, these two cards have shown up. I'll keep it. It just came with the cards over here. Okay. All right. We're also going to see what action you need to take to bring this plan of the goddess into fruition loss now okay now over here okay again a boat all right so here the plan of the goddess is to help you move from this loss okay clearly when you see loss over here and when you see a movement over here it means that whatever loss you had faced there is going to be a recovery from that all right especially with regards to your finances Okay, let me keep your card over here. Milk and honey. Now, this is a very good card to get. Plus, you have an elephant over here, which talks about uh, power and prosperity. So, yes, there is going to be good times ahead. And, you know, milk and honey in the olden times were something, you know, which uh, spoke about luxury. Okay, so there is going to be a lot of... Um, nourishing times ahead with regards to your finances so the, just see what does a loss do a loss takes away all that which makes you feel good whereas milk and honey means you are nourished you are taken care of all right and look how the elephant is happy in this picture let's see ahead Travel. Now, interestingly, all three cards are talking about travel. So definitely uh, for with regards to your finances, you are going to travel. Also, you will kind of, you know, some of you will be reaching to a larger audience, to a global audience, way from where you're going to get your finances. So the financial growth story of yours will have will be interlinked with uh, foreign currency in some way or uh, re receiving money from foreign sources or maybe from foreign organizations okay travel for work is also indicated focus on your priorities so here the uh, the goddess wants you to kind of you know uh, focus on action focus on what is important to you make yourself a priority as well also, uh, you know, it is important that you decide what is right now of uh, urgent, uh, you know, or what is right now urgent and accordingly you take action. All right. So focus on your priorities, focus on what is urgent and important right now and finish it off. Don't pro do not procrastinate. God is your source. So if when I was talking about this cards, if you're wondering, oh my God, Sheetal, okay, fine. You're talking about movement, growth, fast and all of that. But from how, from where it will happen? How will it happen? Well, do not worry. God is your source and God will ensure that it will happen. You just take action. You just keep going. All right. So whatever you need, God will provide that to you. There, there will be a lot of doors that will open up for you. Do not worry. Fairies. So yes, you have been manifesting and the fairies are with you. And you know, you also work towards the betterment of mother nature. And with because mother nature is also a form of goddess, okay, the divine feminine, um, the fairies are going to reward you with uh, amazing, amazing gifts in return to all the care and nurture and all that you do for the environment heal away addiction so you have an addiction to worry and anxiety okay and the angels want you to kind of let it go also it's important to let go of addictions so that you are more healthier and you know with this card i also feel that um there will be abundance coming your way now let's see your next card ascended masters my god look at this card you have got all the gods and goddesses you have got mother kwanin you have got lord uh, rama krishna goddess tara jesus christ 
Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Gautam Buddha. So all of them are blessing you. Not only the goddess energy, the divine femin feminine energy, but also the d divine masculine, the gods, the ascended masters, the angels, fairies. You know what? Interestingly, you got the fairies card. You got goddess your souls. You got ascended master. So the entire divine is go ensuring that your financial story becomes better and beautiful. Wow. Now let's see what your other cards are telling us. Okay, let me just remove three cards from here. all right i'm just going to pick two uh, yellow cards orange cards sorry so let's see friends wow so here you know there so you you know what a knight of swords and knight of pentacles so maybe a friend of yours who is younger to you or maybe of your own kind of age is going to help you out and also you are going to help your friends your finances are also going to help your friends also if you have given money to someone you know and okay, let me just take the camera a little behind so if you've taken money uh, somebody has taken money from you and not returned you so there is a probability that the money may come back to you from that friend or maybe via some other source okay finding what is lost so see again that's what i said so if you lost money in some way you're going to recover it ideas and intuition so your mind is constantly giving you ideas so listen to those ideas write it down note it down you got believe so believe that good things are going to happen to you believe believe create your own niche so do not copy anyone uh, you are somebody who is very good at what you do so create your own niche be a leader and not a follower worry anxiety let go so i did tell you that you have an addiction to worry anxiety and you need to let go in order to manifest your financial goals again belief so you got two times belief and believe so here clearly you need to believe that your financial story is going to get better now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so before we begin uh, i have a goddess lakshmi workshop coming up in case if you are interested to know more details about it click on the link given in the comment section the comment is pinned to also know about the earlier participants experiences you can click on the link in the comment section so let's get started so think about a question group three and let me spin the wheel for you you have got better. So whatever you asked for, the answer is better. And that's what your card reading is all about today. It's talking about how your financial life is going to get better and better and steadier and faster. So group three, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, hit the like button to subscribe to my channel. All the products that you're seeing on this uh, video, uh, except the cards, are available with my sales team you can whatsapp them number given below also we have separate whatsapp uh, uh, broadcast and telegram broadcast if you want to be a part of it the links are given in the comment section sorry in the description column plus all the links to my social media handles uh, you can join me over there as well uh, take care guys lots of love to you bye bye